Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's decluttering video. I've got to tell you this is well overdue. I have needed to declutter my makeup collection for years and you guys have been asking me heaps to see like a full decluttering series. So that is what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to do this one in like separate videos. So we'll go through like different products, different categories and stuff. And we are going to completely declutter this situation. <laughs> I would definitely consider myself a makeup hoarder. My makeup collection grows very, very, very quickly. I have decluttered it in some ways throughout the years, but I've never really gone in and done like a full overhaul. Uh, there's going to be probably a lot of expired products that need to be thrown out. Products that I just don't really like. There's definitely new products that I've never even opened. There's heaps of new PR that needs to go in. There's gonna be a lot going on. So that is about it. Let's get into this huge decluttering and let's have a look at what is, it's probably gonna be terrifying, exactly what is in these drawers. So if you've ever seen any of my previous makeup collection videos, I still keep all of my makeup in these Ikea Alex drawers. I mean, does <laughs> pretty much everybody that does makeup on YouTube uses these. They're just so awesome for storing everything in. They make it really, really easy. And for today's video, I thought we should start with foundations and declutter up my foundations because honestly, I do not use most of these foundations. So why have I got them hanging around? Why am I hoarding these like a freak? So I have two main foundation drawers. So this first top one, and then this second one. And honestly, there is no rhyme or reason to either of these, which is probably gonna trigger a lot of people. I get that. And pretty much every time I've tested a foundation, it's gone into this drawer. All of my regular foundations that I love and adore live in these drawers. Like it just does not make sense to keep all of this stuff that I really do not use. And also totally ick, but a lot of this stuff is probably completely expired, so. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Um, I think what I'll do to begin with and to kind of make this a little bit easier to start with, I'm just going to pull all of the stuff out that I can see that I know I probably will not use anymore. And then we can go like through them each by each. All right, firstly to kick things off, a couple of cream foundations that I definitely do not ever use anymore. This is the Mayron um, Celebre Pro Cream Makeup and also the Time Balm from The Balm. Um, both really great cream foundations, but they're just old and I don't use them anymore. So they're probably well and truly expired. Okay, next up, Match Perfection by Rimmel. I don't mind this foundation, actually. It's a pretty good foundation, but it's the wrong color. Like I can tell from looking at this in the bottle, um, it's got way too much of a pink undertone. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Napoleon Purtis foundation, old as the hills. I definitely, oh, and it's actually leaking something out of it. Okay, that's gross. Definitely not going to keep that. This is the Bourjois Flower Perfection foundation yeah it's not a love and it's completely the wrong color also I seemingly have like boxes of extra foundations up the back here from gorgeous cosmetics have I ever even used these before I might pop these to the side to give away perhaps oh who remembers this stuff the dermacol full coverage foundation yeah, this stuff was insane and it was so ridiculously cakey. Would not recommend. I'm definitely tossing that. Okay, well, this is gross. This is the MAC Water Weight Foundation. I quite liked this, but like, look, it's all separated. It's just so old. Time to toss her. I have quite a few of the Inglot YSM Cream Foundations. These are a really, really nice product. I did love this foundation when I was doing freelance, but these, again, have probably well and truly expired, so I'm gonna get rid of these. There's actually quite a few of these ones in here. There's also like these random, and I don't know, like this is what I mean, I'm such a hoarder. Foundation samples. Like, why have I kept a hold of these? Bin it. Get rid of it. L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle. I don't even think that they make this anymore. It's a super, super old foundation. Definitely really smoothing. Um, but, you know, I used it a couple of times and then never really reached for it again. So we'll, we'll kiss her goodbye. Got a couple of Maybelline BB creams. Don't ever really wear them. Um, I'm not really a huge BB cream wearer. So... Yeah, I'm gonna throw them out. What have we got here? Oh, Revlon Colorstay. I adore this foundation. It's such an amazing drugstore option, but this one is pretty much empty. And again, why have I hoarded this in here when it's basically empty? 
I'm so weird. <laughs> Got some more like cream and cushion foundations up the back here. The L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion. This is actually a really, really nice product. Really quick, simple foundation for everyday wear, um, but well and truly expired. I've had that, I know, for like about six years. Essence Soft Touch Mousse, wasn't really a huge fan of that, so I'm gonna get rid of that, and I honestly would never wear it. And I've got another of the Mayron ones here, so tossing her. Oh my God, there's another one at the back as well. I Hoarder vibes, major hoarder vibes. This is another BB cream. Like I said, I'm not really a huge BB cream fan. I'm gonna get rid of that. Two of the L'Oreal True Match foundations. I think that this one was nearly empty and so I got a restock. But evidently, I've just put them both back in the drawer and have hoarded them both. So I'm gonna get rid of the empty, but we'll actually hold on to the one that is still full. I really do like this foundation. It's beautiful coverage, really nice on the skin. Um, not bad at all. NYX Total Control. I did actually, I didn't mind this, but I did find that it gave my skin like quite a lot of texture. Um, it's a very liquidy sort of lightweight foundation. Um, just really, really natural, but not something that I typically would reach for. Look, here's another one. So yeah, I can't imagine, you know, I can't imagine me grabbing these out and actually applying them. So I'm going to get rid of these. We're kind of starting to get through this a little bit more now. These Nude by Nature foundations, these are really nice, but um, again, I'm not finding myself reaching for this. I might actually give these to a friend because I know that these are definitely not expired. These would still be fine to use. Inglot AMC foundation and the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless foundation. I just wouldn't reach for either of these, so I'm gonna get rid of these as well. Told you I needed a serious clean out of this. Like, it's just, it's been out of control, you guys. It's starting to look a little bit more manageable in here now. The Becca Ultimate Coverage. I didn't hate this, but I also didn't love it. It's quite a good formula to mix with other foundations if you're wanting to up the coverage. So I might keep that one for now. Got a couple of Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation Sticks. Again, not a bad product at all. Definitely, you know, helps blur the skin and it keeps your skin reasonably matte, but just not something that I typically reach for. So we'll, we'll throw these two. Looks like another Inglot foundation, the Inglot Cream Foundation. <laughs> Did I just go into Inglot and purchase like every foundation that they had? It kind of seems that way. I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't even know what it is. Another Napoleon Purtis one that I'm going to get rid of, the Stroke of Genius. This one is really nice, but again, I think it's probably expired. It's been in here for a really long time. Oh my gosh, the original Rimmel Stay Matte. Absolutely absolutely obsessed with this formula. Such a good mattifying foundation, but look, they've redone it and I've kept the original. I must have wanted like, you know, I must have wanted to keep it around because I was sad that they were discontinuing it, but I do really like the new formula. So let's get rid of the old formula and we'll keep the new formula. Oh, what has gone on here? CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. Um, I did really like this, but like, look, this is a hot mess. Let's, let's not hoard that. Got another gorgeous cosmetics one in a box. This is the Mecca Life Proof Longwear Foundation. Actually adore this. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one. And I would say, sort of having an overall look at the rest of the uh, foundations that are in here, I do feel like I like most of these and probably would want to keep most of these, I think. Actually, I will get rid of this Essence one, the All About Matte. Not amazing coverage and kind of looked a little bit textured on the skin. So let's throw that one. Oh my gosh, Mac Studio Tech. This was like one of my first, oh my gosh, look at it. This was like one of my first ever Mac foundations. It's all dried up. Aw, all the feels, but <laughs> well and truly expired. Ew. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you saw me pull that up. This YSL foundation has leaked. That is disgusting. I'm gonna have to clean that out. Um, let's, we're not gonna keep things that leak, are we? I mean, it is YSL. Probably had to sell my soul to purchase it, but let's not keep that. I've got a makeup wipe here to help me clean it up. Oh, gross. <laughs> That is disgusting. It's like leaked all over everything else as well. All right, so as far as foundations that I wanna keep, I feel like this is a pretty good, we've got a pretty good spread here, I feel. Um, I definitely do like all of these and I'm not ready to throw them out yet. And I do think what we could do with these drawer is maybe organize them in reference to like how much coverage they give. 
um, or like how much they mattify. Oh, actually, the Illamasqua Skin Base. This one's for sure expired as well. But as far as the ones that we're going to keep, Laura Mercier, the Chanel Perfection Lumiere. Not a massive, massive, massive fan of this, but I paid so much money for it, so I'm not ready to part with it yet. It's definitely mixable. It's just not the right color. The ColourPop uh, No Filter Foundation. Again, not a favorite, favorite, favorite formula, but it's not bad on days when, you know, I just really quickly want to chuck something on my face. Actually, these three foundations here are quite similar to that. Low coverage, really natural foundations that are just very easy to apply. So the Marc Jacobs Shameless, the Beauty Blender Bounds, and the Benefit Hello Happy. I do love all of these. These are all low coverage foundations. So I might put all my low coverage foundations in this front bit. Um, in the drawer on this side. Oh, this one here as well, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. This is a really low coverage foundation I do quite like. I'm going to pop it in there as well. Um, we've got super, we've definitely got super mattifying foundations here. Um, and also super full coverage foundations. This is another low coverage one from Benefit that I do quite like to quickly just sort of put on if I'm just running out of the house. I'm going to put the It Cosmetics Oil Free CC Cream in with the low coverage ones as well. It's not necessarily super low coverage, but it is a CC cream, so... That's how I'm going to justify it in my mind. The Colourpop one's pretty low coverage, so we'll put them in there as well. And then all of these, Mecca Max, Makeup Forever HD, the NARS, the Urban Decay Stay Naked. This is the Becca full coverage, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Becca Ultimate coverage. I would say that the Shiseido one's a lower coverage as well, so let's put this one on this side. Um, but the rest of these are pretty well, Estee Lauder Double Wear, super full coverage. Yeah, the rest of these are fairly full coverage products. So I'm going to put that in there, I'll put that in there. And maybe we'll keep all these kind of like drugstore ones at the top here. L'Oreal, Rimmel, L'Oreal, Rimmel, Revlon, Wet n Wild. Um, I might keep all these together. I've actually got quite a few different CoverGirl foundations. The CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. Absolutely adore this foundation. It's such a nice formula. So definitely keeping that one. Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating one. I really, really love. Max Studio Fix Fluid. I love yeah, I think I'm going to keep the rest of these and um, we'll keep them in here for now because we'll go through this second drawer. Things may change. Oh my gosh. Look, we're literally starting at the beginning again. This is crazy. Um, things may change in terms of what foundations we'll keep with what sort of a thing. So I'll do the same thing. I'll go through and pull out all of the ones that I know that I definitely do not like to make a little bit of room for organizing. So the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I don't mind this actually for a day-to-day -day kind of a thing, but it is much lower coverage. So let's move this one into this first drawer and we'll pop it with those other really low coverage sort of natural foundations in there. Okay, first up I can see a couple that I'm probably not going to want to keep. The Dose of Colors Foundation. Yeah, I didn't love the formula of this. It didn't look amazing on my skin type, so I'm going to give this one away. I'm also going to give away the Tarte Clay Stick. When I say giveaway, I'm going to, you know, give the option to friends and family to see if they want it. Didn't love how this looked on the skin, so we'll get rid of that one. Got another CoverGirl one here, the Healthy Elixir. I loved this formula. And then CoverGirl went and discontinued it. Why you got to do that, CoverGirl? But I'm going to move it to this lower drawer because I've got all of my CoverGirl ones in here. Um, we'll come back and we'll organize them a little bit better. This is another CoverGirl one. This is the Outlast Stay Fabulous. It's basically like it looks very expired. I imagine I'm never going to use that one again. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is the Maybelline Foundation Stick, the Super Stay Stick. Uh, didn't love that on my skin at all. I don't even know what it's doing in this drawer. I love the original liquid Super Stay formula, but this one was nothing in comparison. So we'll get rid of that one. This is the KVD Locket Foundation, but it's still got Kat Von D written on it. So I do not want this in my collection. They have rebranded, you know, she sold all of her shares, but I'm certainly not going to keep anything with that old branding. So let's chuck that. All right, we've got the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Not a massive fan. I mean, it's not terrible, but definitely not a fave. So we'll get rid of that one. There's so many that are like shoved up the back here. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mind this actually from Benefit, the Hello Flawless, but I do much prefer their Hello Happy one instead. So we'll get rid of that. I just, I'm not going to use it. Oh, another Kat Von D one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I absolutely adore this foundation, but for whatever reason, I've got a shade in here that definitely doesn't match me. So I'll pop that in the giveaway section. CoverGirl Clean Matte. I think from memory, I was not a massive fan of this one, or maybe I haven't even tested it. Have I used this on camera? I feel like it left like weird little dots on my face, so we'll get rid of that. Got some more stick foundations at the bottom. These are from Revolution. I actually remember not minding this formula too much, but I'm not gonna use them, so we'll, we'll toss. Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I feel like I used to wear this when I was in high school. Why have I kept it? <laughs> Got two Clinique foundations here. I actually don't mind these ones at all, so I will keep those. I feel like I've seen a couple of the Maybelline Superstay. Like I said, I adore this one. Um, I definitely keep a couple of bottles on hand because I do wear it really regularly and it just depends on, you know, how tanned I am at the time. So I'll keep both of those. Oh, the Maybelline Urban Cover. Love that one. That one is not going anywhere. Uh, Maybelline Dream Velvet. Eh, that's like a real moosey one, so I'm going to get rid of that. And the Infallible Total Cover. I'll probably keep this one. I don't mind that one, so we'll get rid of this one, though. It's another Mecha Max Life Proof, but it belongs in here with the other one. Smashbox Studio Skin. Not a terrible formula, but not a favorite. So in the spirit of decluttering, let's get rid of it because I'm probably never going to use it. Okay, so this is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I seem to remember not really being a big fan of this, so we'll get rid of that. KVD True Portrait. Don't mind this, but very lightweight on the skin, very sort of watery as well. It's kind of similar to the MAC face and body, actually. So let's move these to the lower drawer. Got the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I love this. Um, really, really nice, lightweight, natural on the skin, breathable kind of a product. Um, let's move it down here as well. Maybe that's how we'll organize it. Like maybe this lower drawer will have like low coverage and then we'll do full coverage at the top. This is the Maybelline Fresh and Flawless. Absolutely obsessed with this. Really, really nice natural kind of a product. Um, very similar actually to Dior Skin Face and Body. And you'll notice that there's quite a few foundations missing from this drawer. They're actually over there on the desk. I'm gonna have to grab them and like we're going to have to put everything together. What's hiding under here? Is that Revlon photo ready candid? Oh, I love this. Another beautiful natural one. So we'll move that down there. L'Oreal Fresh Wear Obsessed. This is the She Glam Complexion Pro Obsessed. Both really perfecting ones. Um, the Hourglass Stick Foundation. We've got the Hourglass Vanish Foundations. I did see this one here, the Hourglass Immaculate. I honestly, I can't remember this. I can't remember. Is this good? It's probably expired. It's been in here for ages. So, oh, what does it say? 18 months. Yeah, I've had this for longer than 18 months. Let's get rid of that. This is the By Terry uh, CC Brightening Serum. I don't know why it's in my foundation drawer. It's not a foundation, so we'll <laughs> pop that up there. The Bite Beauty Change Maker. Love, love, love this stuff. But the other one's in the bottom drawer, so let's move it down there. Same as the uh, Benefit Hello Happy. I seem to have multiple shades. Um, I've kept one of them down here because I love it, but this one's way too fast. We'll toss that one and we'll put the Bite Beauty one down here with the other Bite Beauty foundation. Some products I do keep two shades in because yeah, like I said, it depends on, you know, how tanned I am at the time. Now you will notice that I have got quite a few of the MAC Studio Fix in different shades. This is for freelance type stuff. So I do still do makeup for friends and family. I no longer do it like for clients and stuff, but I do keep these for, you know, friends and family like doing makeup for others. So I'm gonna keep all of these. I might even put these up the back here all together. Okay, Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is pretty much empty again. I've hoarded it for whatever reason. L'Oreal Lumi Magic, really nice glowy foundation, but again, it's basically empty. And then this one here, this is the MAC Pro Longwear. Um, I don't love this formula as much as the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, so I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, I found some oldies down the back. I don't even know why I have these. Lux Liquid Foundation, look at the shade. That would never match me. Why have I got this? NYX Studio HD Foundation, I never use this. And the Max Factor Ageless Elixir, I also never use this. LA Girl Pro Matte, this is quite a nice full coverage foundation. So we'll keep that, what's this? Oh look, I have tried that gorgeous cosmetics one. 
I can't remember for the life of me that I even had these. So I can imagine if that's the case, it's probably like six years old. So we're going to toss her. Another MAC Studio fix. We'll pop that in there. This is the NARS Natural Radiant. I will keep that one as well. Oh, one of my faves, Pat McGrath. Oh, one of my all time most loved and most used foundations. I actually feel like we should do a section of all of like my most loved, most used foundations. Do we agree? So that's going to be NARS Sheer Glow, the Maybelline Superstay. This is another MAC Studio fix. I'll pop this up here. Hourglass Vanish I love, but I don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. Infallible Fresh Wear, definitely use on a day-to-day -day basis. I also do have a couple of the NARS Sheer Glows in different shades, again, for freelance purposes. So I will keep those. Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover. This is like insanely full coverage. Really, really good for if you're breaking out and you're really wanting to cover something up. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I really like this, so I'm going to keep this. It just makes the skin look so perfected. Doesn't last all day. Um, you know, you definitely need to touch this one up if you do have oily skin, but it is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. This is the Zoeva Authentic Skin Foundation. Not a fan. It was really cakey on my skin. Uh, probably a drier skin type might like this more, so I'll pop this in the gifting pile. Got some of my all-time faves here. Dior Backstage Face and Body. Amazing. Like I said, the Pat McGrath Foundation. Amazing. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Again, amazing. And the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. So I'm going to keep all of these in here with some of my other ones because these are honestly the foundations that I reach for on like a like a day-to-day. -day. So we'll keep them in there. I do have two shades of the Pat McGrath as well. Again, depending on how tanned I am. Too Faced Peach Perfect. Again, a really nice, really beautiful foundation. I've got two shades because I'm actually in between the shades for this one and I have to mix them both together. But I definitely want to keep these because they are really nice. Got another L'Oreal True Match. Let's move that down. And then I've also got another Marc Jacobs Shameless. I'm going to move that down to the lower jaw as well. Oh, Urban Decay All Nighter. Such a good full coverage foundation if you're really after something to really, really stay on the skin. Um, it, it will not let you down. I've got two shades of the Fenty Pro Filter. Again, depending on how tanned I am. I don't think I really need to keep two shades of the Hourglass Vanish. So I'm going to toss the fairer one because I'm probably less likely to use that and I'll keep the original. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. Really full coverage, but kind of cakey on my skin. So I'm going to toss that one. Another Makeup Forever HD. I think this is the newer formula. They definitely redid the formula. What's this? Oh my gosh, there's one at the back. Revlon Nearly Naked. Oh. That is probably like 10 years old. Let's get rid of that. Well, I feel like overall, that's probably about as many as I can get rid of at this point. Um, looking in here, these are definitely all foundations that I would still use and still wear. I've separated these into like freelancing shades that I still keep on hand for when I do people's makeup. Ooh, hang on a minute. It's another Marc Jacobs one at the back there. Why do I have so many of these? Like, what is going on? I have three of these, different shades. Ah, oh, okay. Well, this one here is definitely too pink, so we'll toss that. And this one here, this is the Y370. That's definitely my shade. I'm not sure why I've got so many different shades, so we'll get rid of that one too. But overall, I think it's looking pretty good. So my most used, most loved foundations in this first section here, um, these are all the ones that I really, like day to day, I will reach for. Then I've got some other really nice ones here that I do still reach for, but not as much. Oh, not this one though, the Dior Star. Nah, look at, look at how ancient it is. And it's like totally oxidized. It's gone super dark. We're going to toss that. Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Not terrible, but not a favorite. I'm going to keep this in the second drawer with some of the other drugstore ones that I just, I still love, but I just don't wear, you know, all the time kind of a thing. And then these ones here, these are all like really perfecting foundations. I've got my super full coverage ones in here, um, freelance, and then some other ones that I do really love um, that are sort of more like skincare infused or CC creams. Oh, actually, I think I've got a CC cream in here as well. Medium tan and neutral tan. I'm going to keep both of them in here. But this drawer is certainly looking much better and much more organized. And then the second drawer... I still feel like it's a bit of a mess, to be honest. Ooh, Nars Sheer Glow. That one needs to move to up here. Oh my gosh, I've got an empty one and a full one. Let's keep the full one. 
I've got issues, don't I? I really do. But this second drawer here is either lower coverage foundations, foundations that I love but that I don't really reach for typically every single day, and then more natural, like lightweight kind of formulas as well, and loads of drugstore. So I guess that's kind of a way to organize it. I mean, it's not perfect, but it certainly looks much better than it did. I feel way less stressed looking at this. Like, I feel like I can come into here and be like, okay, I can see everything that I've got and everything that I don't have. <laughs> Check this out. This is all the foundations that we're getting rid of. There's so many of them. I can't believe I've been hoarding these for so long. What is wrong with me? <laughs> but I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing this declutter video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. And I love you all heaps, and I will catch you all in my next video. Um, let me know what products you want to see decluttered next. I feel like concealers will be a really amazing one. But, like, we can go through all of these drawers and, like, just declutter absolutely everything. I honestly have so much makeup. It's completely out of control. So let me know what you want to see next. I love you guys heaps, and I'll catch you in the next video. Mwah! Bye!